Hello there, Frog fans. I'm Todd Ballard, and you're watching Frog Crew TV. After a brief hiatus, we finally arrived at the long-awaited return of visionary genius Neil Smugman presents the John Hamden Chronicles of the Worst of the Ice Story. Last time, on visionary genius Neil Smugman presents the John Hamden Chronicles of the Worst of the Ice Story. Crimson Shadow of the Crimson Shadow Shinobi Clan met with Mark of the Wolves at Applebee's to discuss John Hamden's undoing. However, John Hamden showed up and started recklessly firing into a crowded building, killing many. A rogue Crimson Shadow Shinobi took this opportunity to torch Applebee's, trapping the gang leaders inside. How will John Hamden survive this one? Will we learn about a bit characters elaborate backstory? Will Elton John sue us for unauthorized use of the Sun Street Kids? At least one of these questions will be answered in the newest episode of Visionary Genius Neil Smugman presents the John Hamden Chronicles of the Worst of the Ice Story only on Frog Crew TV. In 2013, a mysterious viral outbreak started South America, spreading north through contaminated crops. Within months, millions across the globe was hospitalized with a rapid, seemingly untreatable illness. This was great news for us werewolves, since our lycanthropy protected us from infection. The humans wasn't as fortunate, and a lot of them died. And of course, the remaining survivors banded into gangs and shot each other for no reason. Which was also great news for us werewolves. They lacked strength in numbers, making them easier targets to attack. Oh, we mold so many humans, ate so many babies. We increased our numbers greatly. God, what a fun summer that was, huh? However, a few scant years ago, a new enemy arose capable of taking us down. Young women armed with weapons made from silver, grenades, Uzis, they called themselves the Little Red Riders. Suddenly we was at war with an enemy who stood a chance against us. Last year my wife was slain by a gang of Little Red Riders, and then my daughter was pecked to death by a gang of biker chickens. I swore to end the perpetual cycle of violence by brutally killing all these girls and chickens. I am the saddest of wolf dads, the gravingest of wolf widows, and most importantly, the beardiest wolf man to ever hold a gun. Mark of the wolves, and I truly am the wolf of guys. Shut the fuck up, Gary. You don't even know what it's like to be a bearded wolf man with a gun whose wife has died. Mark, I get it. I lost family too. Don't you think I want revenge? But you can't just run around like a fucking toster, blast it all wily nily like some fucking Yankee. I'm gonna go out and avenge my wife at the hands of the little red riders. And my daughter at the wings of chickens. All right, Mark, I understand hating the red riders. But you gotta let go of this chicken thing, you sound like a nutter. No you fucking can't, they won't kill me daughter they did. Chickens? Like, on a conceptual level? Yes! Get out of here you fucking birds! <laughs> Lord this fucking overhead clappers. God damn it, Mark. You fucking tossball, you cheeky cunt. We was forging an alliance what with them cheekies. But now what you done and give him what for? And now he's all pissed as all well. And now he's gonna drink you like a pint of new. Oh, well, shut your fucking toad in the hole. I'm doing what needs to be done is what I'm doing. Oi, oh, fuck you fucking cunts, what you done kill me, family. And now I'm in the perpetual cycle of violence by killing you. Killed my husband! In 2013, a mysterious viral outbreak started in South America, spreading north through the contaminated crops. 
Within months, millions across the globe were hospitalized with a rapid, seemingly untreatable illness. Doctors quickly noticed that male patients were very uncommon. Researchers soon discovered that the SRY protein cluster found only in the Y chromosome had properties resistant to infection, ostensibly granting men natural immunity to viruses' terminal symptoms. Younger female subjects' immune system was capable of fending off the illness, but women over the age of 35 were extremely high risk of fatal infection. The virus didn't kill men, but the infected were still afflicted with modified behavior. Victims experienced total loss of emotional control and were far quicker to anger and violence when not wallowing in the depths of melancholy. With the world's population of wives tragically diminished, millions of bearded white men around the world were inadvertently turned into sad dads, an event that was dubbed the saddening. Instead of banding together to grow crops and maintain infrastructure like normal people would do, society split into roving gangs and shot each other for no reason. With humanity at war with itself, werewolves took an opportunity to maul many humans, eat many babies, and increase their numbers greatly. Our story follows the saddest of moms, the grieviest of widows, and most importantly, the daintiest white woman to ever hold a knife. Jane Dagger. Shut up, Denise. You can't possibly understand what it's like. Jane, I lost my family too. Don't you think I want revenge? But you can't just go out there hurling knives like some kind of, uh, how you say, lunatic. We need to be smart about this. I am a dainty white woman with a knife whose husband has died. Now I'm going to go out there and avenge my husband at the hand of those goddamn werewolves. And my daughter at the hand of clowns. Look, I understand we need to kill the werewolves, but you really need to let this clown thing go. It's not healthy, Jean. Fuck you, Denise. I will kill every clown on Earth, and maybe a mime, too. I will lose my bed. Boy, will the perpetual cycle of violence ever end? God damn it, Smugman, you take a two month hiatus, and all you have to show is a filler episode. I swear to God, I'm so done with this pretentious ass. Hello there, fraud fans. That certainly was an exciting episode of visionary genius Neil Smugman presents the John Dangan Chronicles of the Worst of Guy story. It absolutely enriched the narrative tapestry of watching men mindlessly kill each other. Anyway, buy a hat. <laughs> Jean-Claude Truchet ne se doutait pas qu'il allait tomber sur une créature immonde issue d'un cerveau de démon. Régulier de l'espace, saute le tétraïde du Maintenant ils sont parmi nous, proliférant à la vitesse d'un grand V, preuve de maths, contractuel, banquier, huissier de justice ou inspecteur des finances. La nuit des vivants morts, le cauchemar a déjà commencé. <rire> <rire> 